you are watching Momo Beginner Swings. For further tutorials, please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox. Hello guys, welcome to Momo Beginner Swing. Today we are making off shoulder dress in which we have this beautiful floral uh, fabric which is uh, which is a cotton fabric and we are using it uh, already it uh, on double fold so let me tell you the total exact calculation that how much we need a fabric for this dress we uh, we have in total 25 inch in length of the fabric so our total fabric is of 25 inch in length so uh, i have already told you that we are using 25 5 inch in land our fabric and our in width our dress uh, is uh, 10 inch in width after doing double on fold so I have just uh, di did a one on fold and then I doubled it and did it again on fold and one side of this four sided on uh, two sided on fold is about uh, about 10 inch in width Now what I am going to do, I am going to do, I am going to slice my 25 inch fabric in a two pieces and I am taking it one of them of 18 inch. Going to cut out that piece and now we are going to have a two pieces. One size is about 18 inch and other size is about let me tell you the one size is about uh, 18 inch in width uh, 18 inch in height and the other one which is going to be a sleeve part it is about let me fix it firstly and I am just uh, making it uh, a uh, little bit uh, slimmer or you can say I'm just decreasing its width so now my its width is 8.5 inch and I'm cutting the extra fabric then I'm going to tell you that how much height we have we have 8 inch of height and 8.5 inch in width so that's it guys this is the uh, our cutting piece so we have just did a rectangular two pieces of rectangular and we need a little bit of uh, bias tape of kind of thing or strap you can say that if you need a strap it is of uh, two inch and in width in length it is of uh, 14 inch one side we have two strap now so one it is going to be 14 inch in length and two inch in width and we are going to use this beautiful elastic you can see that the wider one and the slimmer one so let me start with our sewing process and you can see that how we are going to make this beautiful and easy off shoulder dress so guys so, uh, now we are starting with our sewing of our off shoulder dress uh, let me measure the elastic which is going to be used over here we are using 16 inch we are using three pieces of elastic you can see that the first one the biggest one it is of 16 inch in length in width it's 16 inch in width and uh, it is uh, uh, a usual size so um, I am using 0 0.5 inch in width you can use uh, according to your convenience now I am the other the the smaller piece it is of 8.5 inch in width and the other the, th the third one is also uh, of 8.5 inch in width uh, they are of similar similar sizes so you can guess the uh, the puzzle over here that these this uh, two same sizes are for sleeve and the big one is for the dress so now let me start with the work you can see that we have a rectangle piece and we are starting with our top side and I'm just doing a simple fold of the elastic and going to do a seam over here there is no casing you can see that this is a on fold the 0 .0 0 0.25 inch on fold and then we are going to complete it
you guys can see that, that I have just folded my elastic from one side and it is stick, uh, still unseamable or unstitchable right now so I am going to fold it again and going to do a single seam on the top of it So you can see that that I am done with my elastic work of the on the dress. So now what I am going to do, I am just going to do a single seam along the side which is going to uh, stitch my side of the dress. So let me do it for you. So you can see that that I am done with my side seam not what, what I am going to do I am just going to fold the bottom side if you want you can apply the lace over here or you just attach the bicep but I am not doing anything because I just need it in a simple way so I am just going to fold it in a single seam and just So guys you can see that uh, my top is almost done uh, I've just did the elastic then side seam and then in last I have did my fold bottom fold now I am going to tell you that what we are going to do in our sleeves so let me tell you that okay this is my sleeve you can see that first of all I am using this small elastic you can see that the the you can see that 0.25 inch in width elastic and what I, we are going to do we I am just going to do a fold and just going to have a single seam along with it this is my sleeves hemline so the which is going to be uh, at the uh, this is a stitch seam line so it is going to be a uh, facing towards the wrist of my hand so this is not the up top top part of my shoulder so this is the main thing that I am going to I am telling you that this is a fold over here and I'm going to do it
I am done with my on fold of the hemline with the elastic in it and now what we are going to do we are going to start with our shoulder part so we are going to take our elastic which is of same size of our dress one you can remember that and I am going to do it in a similar way we have did in our dress so let me do it in a super quick fast way if you don't know that how to do it then you can do and you can go back in the play and then you can go back in the video and just see it by yourself So guys you can see that that we are done with our top and uh, shoulder elastics and now what we are going to do I am going to cut one inch from the hemline which where we uh, installed the smaller with elastic and I am going to remove it and then I am going to sew the sides of it from here to there like that okay so the, so the remembering part is that that we are just uh, finishing or curving out our um, our hem line part which is have a smaller width a smaller uh, with the elastic and uh, the rest is going to be a similar thing so I am doing in a super fast way you can see that let me curve it firstly and then going to tell you You can see that I have just did uh, the first sleeve in front of you and remove the excess part from the hemline. You can see that in the final product my the my hem sleeve is uh, in a smaller width and the shoulder side sleeve uh, or the elastic which has the, with the uh, uh, bigger one elastic is uh, in. Uh, maximum size in a width so let me do it in a second sleeve as well and going to tell you that how we are going to proceed the dress guys we are done with our sleeves as well both sleeves are done and now you can see that I have just laid down my bodice over here and what we are going to do I'm going to take my one sleeve and take the bigger one shoulder bigger one uh, uh, elastic side and going to attach it over here take another one and going to attach it again you can see that I am attaching from the where the side seam done of the sleeve 
so this is the major and the pointing thing that the side seam should face the skirt uh, side should uh, side, side seam should face the bodice and the upper part is going to face the uh, facing so i am not what what we are going to do i am going to uh, do a seam at this point you can see that i'm going to do a seam at this point and at this point if you want you can do this with your hand seam as well but that's not convenience so uh, do it with your sewing machine and try to be more visible because it is a harder part because both seams are going to uh, there are there is third seam is going to smash the both seam so let me do it very carefully So guys, I'm done with my attachment of the sleeve and the bodice. You can see that this is a such a beautiful dress, off shoulder dress, and we are done with it. This is our very easy, quick dress with the there is no pattern involved in it. Just a simple quick tips I have given you, and you just going to seam it for your baby. And I have shown you the strap. You can remember that, but I didn't attach it because I don't want it to be here. So if you want, you can do it and just attach it over here at the, in the side of the dress and the other one, the other side of the dress. They are become the straps of the dress which support the kit. But I didn't do it. You can do it by yourself. I have already given you the measurements. And if you don't know how to do a bias tape or make a bias tape, you just uh, go to the description or the link is appearing uh, on the top of your uh, window as well. So here is this is it guys um, and we are done with our off shoulder dress and this is such a beautiful dress and uh, we are very thankful to you that you like our channel please share this tutorial and like this tutorial and just tell us that how you love this no pattern dress of the off shoulder thank you I hope you like this tutorial please subscribe to us like this video and share this video as well see you soon